Have you ever been camping and learned that a mouse has found a way inside your car and you want to get rid of him, but you don't want to kill him? I've got just the solution. I'm going to show you how to make an improvised catch him alive trap. So I've got a mouse that keeps getting into my car at night. He goes in through the engine compartment and then he gets into the car. And I think he's trying to maybe build a little nest somewhere behind the stereo or thereabouts. So I want to get rid of him. I want him out of there. And uh, it's time to set up a trap to catch him. And then we'll release him back into the wild. So that mouse is probably thinking, hey, Deluxe, this condo has everything. It's spacious, plenty of nesting material and food, security from predators. I've got it made. I'm moving in. So I bet it does look like quite the upgrade to a mouse moving into a car when they've been in this kind of environment. So my catch em alive trap consists of things you may already have in your car. In this case, I have a clear bin that I use for storing food in this case. It was my dinner bin. And so I'm using that. And one regular mouse trap, a piece of spongy foam, and the lid to the bin. So, what you're going to do, take your mouse trap, get your spongy foam, slice a little piece of this spongy foam, just enough to cover the bar on the mouse trap that snaps. And then you tape, take some tape, tape it across the bar here so that when the bar comes down, it's padded, it doesn't kill the mouse. It just comes across and over top, uh, but the foam prevents it from harming the mouse. And then you need a piece of string, in this case, dental floss, and a stick which I found in the desert. Okay, so take your mouse trap. You've got the foam piece all taped good over the bar. Put your peanut butter or whatever right on here. Clip. Clip your mouse trap into place. Put it inside. So place your mouse trap on in there and the top of the bar of the mouse trap you have your string tied to the top of the bar and you have it tied to the stick. Now you put your lid over top. Make sure that the string is taut, not too much slack in it. So like I say, make sure that the string is taut. You might want to just put your stick in there and barely just kind of move the mousetrap to get the string real taut. So the mouse comes along. And I'm going to use the stick to show you. So let's say he's up at the bait station there. Fiddling around. And the lid falls on top. And now he can't get out. The lid is on top. And he can't get out. So the best thing to do, if you are inside the car and you hear the lid go, press the lid down tight, because he will jump around and try and get out. 
So let's run through the basics real quickly one more time. So you've got your mouse strap, and you tie the string to the top of the bar on the mouse strap, and it ties to the stick that will be standing up. And when the lever from the mouse trap is activated, it pulls the stick, and the lid drops. And don't forget to use your foam to pad the bar thoroughly so it doesn't harm the animal. So tape that real well to where it's going to smack down on him. Tape it really well to the bar so that he just gets hit with the pad. And when like I say, when the bar goes and it pulls the stick, the lid falls, and you've got your mouse. Okay, well, hopefully we can catch this little guy tonight because I'm getting really tired of him roaming around in the car in the evening, in the nighttime. More than likely, he's just looking for food inside the car, but I don't want him nesting anywhere in the engine compartment or, you know, any place in the car at all. I want to get him going on his way. So I'm going to place this on the passenger seat at night and I like to make it real nice and easy for the mice to get in. So I'll take a towel and build a little ramp so they can easily climb up and jump on in and then I can catch them. So I'll set it up like this, where the string is toward the top of the stick, and then the bar pulls the, uh, the string that pulls the stick down, and makes the lid go down and catches the mouse. So I'll just put the lid over top of the stick and hope for the best once I bait the trap. And you want to have the bin pretty level so that the lid falls flat on top of the bin. All right, we'll wait for our little mouse now. All right, we got him. I could hear it go. He's in there. I heard him roaming around. So let's just snap that down. And uh, we'll deal with it in a couple hours when the sun comes up. There he is, our little captive mouse. So we'll let him go. This is the second mouse I've caught like this in two months. That has gone from the engine compartment and into my car. We're going to take him far away from the car because I don't want him getting any ideas to come back. So we're going to take him out to the hills out there. Okay, we're at the base of the hills and there look to be some really nice little rocky nooks that this guy can find a home in. Such as this little area right here. So I put a towel over the box to make it a little, little less frightening for him. And uh, he's in here. He's just a cute young thing. He probably thought, I left the hood, man. I'm moving on up. I got me a car to nest in. Okay, little buddy, it's time to let you go. Okay, bud. Come on. You're free. There you go, buddy. Bye-bye. Adios. Good luck. Buen suerte. Barakabas. In a land of mice, it is wise to be one step ahead of the mouse. This sounds easy, but 
Not so easy. Mice have little feet, but move very fast. And it is good to be humane. That is what sets us apart as human beings from animals. To be humane and forgiving. You can forgive the mouse and catch alive and release unharmed. That is the wisdom of Rakhapa in wilderness. Just as soon as I caught that mouse that I showed you, I learned that another mouse had quickly taken up the vacancy in my car and had been driving around with me all day. And I managed to catch him in the evening. And there he is. We're going to let him go. So while the one mouse was sitting in my bin, trapped, the other mouse quickly found a place in my car that same evening. Okay, little mouse. Time for you to get out. Bye-bye. You must be smarter than mouse. Besides, mice not very tasty and have only little bit meat. Nobody want to eat mouse unless you're a cat or owl. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make a catch em alive mouse trap with me. You keep on subscribing, and I'll keep giving you camping tips that might just come in handy when you're out in the wilderness. Until next time, this is the Rock Hopper. I'll see you again.